important topic to discussing in the uh, uh, assessment, climatic change assessment tools. So, what are the fundamentals of uh, uh, crop stimulation tools? So, that is very, very important of this uh, topic. So, crop uh, stimulation uh, models. So, this uh, uses you know, different uh, objectives like uh, uh, segmentation process. So, this uh, 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 introduction to this uh, assessment tools so that is fundamentals of crop models. So, we, we uh, studies should uh, study this with uh, different types of models. Under this uh, topic, we should. So, we should. Uh, uh, So we should understand the basic models. So what are the models and it's before you understand a system of models. So before we understand a crop fundamental models. So it is the study under systematic levels. So that is what systems. So that is uh, before you studies there uh, steps involved in modeling. So there are different steps involving modeling so these are uh, modeling so so that is uh, uh, a descriptive models so descriptive models so the segmentation process segmentation based on importance so that is it. so system system is uh, is uh, uh, literally dependent what is a system so it is a set of thing workings so together it is a set of things working together so, as a part of a uh, mechanism or interconnecting network. So, we should we work together. They are interconnected together and work start. So, under the influence of different models. So, a model is a simplified representation of a system. A model is a simplified representation of a system or a process. We are all work together. So, under the system of modeling. So a model is, uh, you know, finally we discussing a, a computer program. A model is a computer program. So which describes the mechanism of the process or a system. So that is computer. So a model is a, a computer program. A model is, a, it is a system under the system. A computer is a model uh, computer program. So which describes the uh, mechanism of process of the system. So, modeling is mainly based on. So, modeling. So, there is no uh, PPT, sir. After then, I sent to groups. PPT is sent to groups for uh, uh, condensing the notes and sent to the groups. So, now we have no PPT. So, I described and clarification your topic. So, in the middle, any topic you uh, discuss with me, sir. So there is no topic. I will discuss in the uh, topics of uh, uh, that is climatic change assessment tools. So in the climatic change, so some of many factors. So influencing the changes in the climate. So the environmental factors is mainly air, temperature, light. They are mainly a changes in the climates. So even also in the climates. So they are different models work together. So even as a computer is also. Uh, under the influence of climate. So very, very important. It is also under the influence of, uh, it is a model. So different types of models is work together. So they are discussing here. So in any doubt you, uh, so discuss with me. So it is mainly the modeling is mainly based on the uh, assumption that any process that can be expressed in the form of a, it, it is a mathematical statement or a, uh, set of uh, statements so uh, it uh, depicts it in the uh, world system so it is a world system so modeling is mainly classified into so that is so the modeling is uh, mainly um, uh, so is classified into different types so it is an interrelationship between the factors involved in the process it is interrelation between the interconnection between the so different factors involved in the process. So some of the important uh, aspects of in this topic. So there are different uh, uh, topics we discuss in the aspects that is uh, uh, 
descriptive modeling or discussing in this topic so mainly we discuss a segmentation of process so what is the segmentation of process so it is a uh, segmentation of process is a subgroups so it is a uh, set of statements subgroups and it is a uh, set of statements so that is a uh, uh, so, so they are variable of the main process will accounted in this process so for example soil water availability is soil water so the plants so the soil so soil water so because they are rich in soils so now uh, <coughs> soil water is a main factors so that is uh, availability is the main process will be a subgroups or soil so soil is a physical factors soil water or temperature so they are physical factors so the soil is a, a group or soil so it is a physical chemical and biological uh, properties so soil is having a physical properties chemical properties and biological properties as well as the plant community present in the soil so plant is firmly attached in the soil soil has rich in water along with a main nutrient and minerals for proper growth and uh, development of plants so mainly it is the segmentation of process it is the mainly segmentation of process it is a best example of segmentation of process is a soil water availability so water so water is is a, without water there is no life so water is essential for all living organisms so so the uh, the plants release the oxygen with the help of absorbing water so uh, photosynthesis of water or splitting of water so that is oxygen is releases 2h plus o minus so that is a it is a biological process so uh, soil is having a physical properties chemical properties so having a different organic and inorganic materials occurs in the soil and uh, biological properties so this is the segmentation of process so this is the main process will segmented into different uh, subgroups so different sub so it is the uh, variables uh, of the main process will be accounted this is one one of the fundamental crop stimulations one of the important crop stimulation so another one is is a main that is segmentation based on importance so segmentation is mainly based on import what are the most important of uh, segmentation process so some of the uh, many uh, importance among them so the <coughs> importance is of for example in the growth and development of plant so in the growth of uh, that is so the uh, in the growth and development of plants so the most important events are photosynthesis and respiration so here we are all should understand what is in the plant both the plant and animals are living but biologically they are different because so we are all uh, inspiring or inhalation oxygen but plants release the oxygen so we are animals release the carbon dioxide inhalation and exhalation inspiration and expiration so expire carbon dioxide and inspire oxygen so in the plants it is a reversible reactions but both are living so that is photosynthesis and respiration respiration means exchange of gases between the organism and the environment is called uh, respiration because so segmented based on importance we are all understand before a climatic change why the changes in so it is a open land any changes sometimes immediately goes to minus 0 degree centigrade so that and sometimes it reach to high temperature so that that is why that is because plants helps to coolness and helps to increase in the rainfall thick forest area thick forest area so that is the increasing rainfall rainfall so 
photosynthesis and respiration in the segmentation based on importance so the plant the most important events are so the growth and development of plants the main important events are the photosynthesis and respiration so photosynthesis i already explained a lot last period so green plants photosynthesis green plants means leaves green plants manufacturing organic food materials by utilizing so uh, by utilizing carbon dioxide and water in presence of sunlight so photosynthesis always increases during day time because the plants growth is mainly light depends on light so because so uh, the plants are the photosynthesis is oxidation reduction reaction so water is oxidized to oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide so is uh, reduced to carbohydrates so so they are called as oxidation reduction reaction so hence the photosynthesis and respiration process will be given more weightage than other process of the um, events so it is main concentration because so respiration respiration and photosynthesis is main uh, uh, event to discuss in this so it does not mean the other process will will not be taken into this year in the assessment tools in the account because the other process are also included with due weightage you also consider other processes also so that is uh, 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 different other factors is also considered but the main events in the uh, uh, plants is only photosynthesis and respiration so this is the fundamental crop stimulating models under these studies we should understand first these two that is so soil and plant growth soil soil is rich in nutrients and minerals having a water supply to aerial parts of the plants then we should understand photosynthesis and respiration and third one is interlinking of different process and third one is interlinking of different process so what is the interlinking of different process so it must be a, a effective uh, imitations of the process system or it is a for example under this studies so it is interlinking of different process for example soil water availability is mainly depends on rainfall in open land in the terrestrial land so the plant materials are cosmopolitan distribution because it is completely depends on rainfall so the availability of plants so that is soil water availability is mainly depends on rainfall so irrigations so that is fluffing so that is growing of agricultural uh, in the fields that mainly depends on a rainfall that is irrigation solar radiations so that is also and soil temperature so in the humidity so in the soil so always the uh, humidity is occur soil concentration is occurs in the soil so it is main important so it is a less evaporation of soil evaporation so and uh, transpiration that is uh, evaporation of water from the plants is called as transpiration and soil color color so soil color is black soil red soil alluvial soil so there are different types of soils are occur so their plants are also specific to soil plants growing cultivation of plants cultivation of agricultural plants is mainly a different the plants are also sensed to our growth to a specific soil in the block soil cotton ja, maize java it is these plants are mainly they are growing in block soil so that is so it is uh, the mainly soil so and all the process have to be um, uh, interlinked so they are interlinked the evaporation no transpiration no so that is a soil color it is a interlinked connections so interlinked interlinking of different process so where evaporation the transpiration is occurs so that is temperature it is mainly soil temperature so that is solar radiations so we are all study of the water availability it is a sub process 
it as a sub process so that is segmentation based on importance interlinking of different process and another important point we should understand under assessment tools the climate change assessment tool is weightage of important process so what is the weightage of important process so that is different weightages so will be uh, given for different process so they are based on uh, the importance in the particular system for example in the soil nutrient uh, dynamics so soil have a nutrients so when nutrient rich soil so they must uh, they must be uh, importance will be given to nitrogen uh, followed by phosphorus potassium and another uh, magnesium so that is uh, supply they are the minerals and the nutrients supply to uh, proper growth and development of uh, plants so that is the weightage so this is uh, uh, inorganic and organic uh, uh, sources occurs in the soil they need to a proper growth so that is it so uh, another the some of the explanator models are uh, described so that is uh, uh, deterministic uh, modeling so that is a uh, storm so this is the uh, we, we should understand these uh, different types of uh, models and uh, these are the uh, crop uh, uh, stimulation so then another important is uh, crop uh, simulation models so it is the a simple uh, representation of the of a crop so the crop is they are important it is a constructive system so crop is a constructive system so so it uh, uh, it all study under research tools so many scientist so develops a technology so scientist agricultural scientist develops a technology so under the study of research so there are many research tools are understood to solving the a problems associated with agricultural crop productions so that is main so agriculture solving the problem of agricultural uh, productions so agricultural uh, productions is mainly so the, it is a plan, mainly provides a platform as interdisciplinary uh, collaborations so a crop models requires so crop models requires input and data a pertaining to it is a limited so that is a data models so these are the many crop models are so a model so what is model a model is a uh, written in uh, a different uh, simulated dairy uh, dry matter so a productions of uh, functions of the different radiation uh, temperature so we should understand this uh, uh, topic so what are the steps so what are the steps involving in modeling what are the steps involving in modeling so there are different types it's so what is the defined uh, what is defined system and its boundaries so that is uh, in the complexity of the agricultural uh, production system in the complexity of agricultural uh, production system so it uh, completely depends on interdisciplinary uh, functions or approach so that is so it is completely development of uh, crop model so that is the development of crop model is a, a challenging task so development of crop model where the and uh, improvement of the crops in the agriculture so it is mainly a challenges so it task uh, many tasks are involving by scientist so that is uh, and crop modelers from uh, uh, drivers fields or agricultural fields or farmers fields so based on the this objectives of this model they uh, different expertise scientist so the different expert scientists has uh, uh, de develop a crop models so this uh, development of crop models so that is uh, uh, what is this final object is uh, a defining goals so that is uh, uh, subsequent uh, uh, system in uh, modeling of crops we should uh, uh, define key variable in ecosystem in the system 
So this uh, defining system on boundaries, so variable uh, matters such as a state, rate, uh, driving and auxiliary variables are uh, defined. So these are the a state variable uh, are those which can be measured or qualified. For example, under these studies, moisture content. So soil moisture is very, very important so because always a plant requires water. So that is soil moisture. So that is under the influence of coolness in the uh, climatic. So that is uh, crop yield. So what is the final production of crops from in the farmers? So that is crop yield. So this uh, rate of variables. So this is a crop yield. So etc. The rate of variables are the rate of different process operating a system. For example, photosynthesis rate, transpiration rate, so yield. So high yield productions in the agricultural crops is mainly based on photosynthesis rate, transpiration rate. So it, it is a basic requirement. So this uh, variable, any variables in those, so which are not part of the system, but they are affect the system. For example, uh, sunshine, so in the high temperature, so requires more water, more uh, nutrients. So their uh, rainfall is uh, uh, short, so which, uh, which is water is a uh, stress. So auxiliary variables are intermediate product. For example, a dry matter, so their partition, dry matter partition, so water stress, so these are all, all imbalanced to proper growth of development in the agricultural fields. So what is the quantification of relationship in the uh, agricultural crops? So in the agricultural crops, so what is the quantification relationships? So it is uh, uh, after establishing the, the relationship among the variables, the quantification is where using the different uh, mathematics equators. So there are different uh, uh, accounting to maintain uh, and uh, functioning in the crop models. So, so this is the, uh, under this mathematical statement or account, we should uh, following the calibrations. So after development of models from the scientists in the agricultural or crop simulation. So it requires, so it requires a calibration, which is one of the most important steps in modeling. It is a more important steps in modeling. For, for example, in the studies, so they checking the modeling response by a different conditions or uh, parameters like uh, crop phenocopy. Phenocopy means date to germination. So that is uh, a 50% flowering yeah, and a yeah, physiological maturity. So that is uh, uh, date germinations of seeds and producing a, a, a flowering. So that is uh, flowering is very, very important. Flowering of plants and then uh, what is the maturity of physiological functions like uh, transpiration, so uh, photosynthesis, respiration. So what is it so for crop growth and development? So the crop growth and development is a the leaf area index so that is in collaboration studies so what is the leaf area index leaf area and uh, mm, that is a specific leaf area so that is so that is a dry matter productions and uh, uh, partitioning so they are yield so when imbalance in the that is so we should measuring this one what is the problem that is very very important so, and uh, what is the validations, what is the sensi uh, sensitivity of analysis, some simplification. So, they are different uh, uh, technology or developed by scientists, that is crop simulation methods. So, and another important uh, we discussing in the uh, climate change assessment tools is applications of crop models. What are the applications mainly? What is the main objectives? And finally, we take an air applications. So applications of crop model is estimation of potential yields. So that is very, very important. What is the 
estimation of a potential yield uh, potential yields so it calibrated and validated models so what is the calibrated and validated models will the potential yield yes, so they are perfectly under a there is no stress conditions it is a perfectly the estimation of the potential yields so then so what is the estimation of uh, yield gaps so that is so it is a model so model will be used to estimate the yield gaps between the potential yield and a uh, attainable yield so that is what is the potential and finally what is the accounted or attainable yields so potential potential yield and uh, actual yield so that is what it is a formula so what is the potential yield and uh, actual yield so it is a uh, from the uh, farmers yields so find the totally finally what you to find we should find a principal causes what is the main causes principal causes contribution and uh, remedial measures for yield gap so the is any problem in agricultural crops so what is the gap we should so that is the principal causes so that is investment principal causes what are the investment what is the yield crops so that is the um, principal uh, causes uh, what is the contribution to the crops so the, and finally a measures for yield gap and uh, that is it is a bridging the yield gap so between them it is a bridging the uh, gaps so then so this uh, climatic variability and climatic change impact assessment so then we should discuss it about so a climate variability and climate change impact assessment so that is so there are models so we are discuss usual for there are different models are usual for uh, quantifying the climate variability so that is climate variability and climate change climate variability is a short term and climatic change is a long term so effect on agricultural productions climatic change is mainly effect on agricultural productions climate change for example so the plants are sensed to stimulation of suitable temperature suitable climatic conditions so the in the agricultural farmers they face the many uh, climatic uh, changes so immediately the there are more rainfall increases so that is when the crop is yield final productions so when the rainfall increases so they are all losses so the effect of agricultural production so it uses used to assess the impact of climatic change and climatic variability on weeds so insect pest and uh, disease uh, uh, dynamics as well so there are disease caused they are pest are attacked in the crops the pest is attacked to the crops so they are and uh, many dynamic conditions so there are many uh, dynamic conditions we should understand this uh, assessment so then what is the optimizing management of this uh, so they are uh, uh, under environmental impact so environmental in impact such as a uh, percolation so environmental impact is on uh, percolation a uh, uh, g so emission of this uh, products so av is very very important to discussing in the simulation so modeling discrete so there are different to factors to understand this aspect of assessment uh, tools then we understand so another important topic of this is introduction to crop ecological models so crop ecological models it is under this studies so crop ecological models so what is the uh, validation statistical analysis or uh, crop simulation models is uh, a info uh, in info crop models so that is calculation is very important so under this uh, calibrations already we discussing this calibrations uh, 
the another important of this uh, topic is is uh, uh, agro uh, meteorological so meteorological that is the uh, study of uh, earth and uh, rocks so that is uh, different uh, uh, applications uh, under the study of crop growth models so applications of uh, crop growth models is one of the important when the farmers so when the farmers have the difficult task of managing their crops so when the farmers when the farmers are difficult to task of managing their crops on poor soils in harsh and risky climates a poor soil when poor soil so it is a harsh and risky climates so that is uh, uh, so when uh, so this is so that when scientists and researchers so uh, managers so research managers need tools to can assess the integrated approach to finding these solutions what are the solutions to implement it in the uh, uh, need tools can be in the soil uh, humidity so on the on farm decision so that is uh, making a agro uh, uh, agronomic management so there are many models the model allow a evolution of one or more options to that evolution means changes any changes in the climatic changes so that is testing uh, scientific hypothesis so scientist to test the scientific assessment to test the scientific assessment so then what is the and take on the data so what is the facing the problems so that is the organizing data so then integrating cross discipline what is the discipline to maintain so all this we should understand this management so what are the then we should uh, to discussing about uh, another important uh, uh, topic is uh, introduction to remote sensing so that is uh, introduction to remote sensing so that is uh, uh, what is sensing so that is uh, uh, remote sensing process advantages and limitations of remote sensing so models of electromagnetic radiations that is electromagnetic spectrum and radiation loss so this is uh, <clears throat> so important to discussing this uh, uh, remote sensing to understand uh, this so what is the under this uh, objectives to uh, define remote sensing asking the questions in the examination so define remote sensing so already understand this and describe electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic spectrum so electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic spectrum so and explain inter uh, interaction of electromagnetic radiations and spectrum so that is so these are um, in this uh, so we shall uh, so uh, what is the definition of uh, uh, remote sensing so so we are all, uh, uh, the measurement of so that is remote sensing is the uh, measurement or uh, acquisition of information of some property so collection of imp information so or acquisition of uh, or storing of information of some property of an object any object used with the help of object or phenomenon by recording device by recording device that is not in physical or uh, in, uh, uh, inti in intimate contact so will the object or phenomenon under the study so it is called as uh, a remote sensing so uh, it is uh, information about the heart the uh, properties of deriving a uh, information about the heart so that is a uh, useful information so that is earth land and water surface using a uh, images acquired so using electromagnetic radiations and electromagnetic spectra so the we should so we should uh, uh, reflect or emitted uh, from the earth surface so that emitted on the earth surface so according to different scientists so that is uh, a science and heart 
so arts and science so it is a obtaining useful information about an object so that is area or phenomena so that is through the a analysis of data acquired so this is a, a science learning so then what is the remote sensing process so that is a remote area or sen remote sensing area that is a, a process of remoting so the process of remoting sensing uh, involve a several steps the process of uh, 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 the process of remote sensing involves uh, a several steps so what are the steps we should uh, now that uh, our uh, eyes our eyes uh, are an example of remote sensor so eyes sense to vision so that is sensors so that is a uh, uh, i is a best example of uh, remote sensors so the, so we observe objects so with the help of eyes we identified the any plant plant is a object we observe object because there is a source of radiations because there is a source of radiation so that interacts with the objects and the radiated light is captured by our eyes so there are five sense organs in the in our body so they are so sense uh, high so uh, hearing nose so that is uh, uh, skin no so they are different uh, sense organs are sensing so that is eyes are a, an example of a remote uh, sensors so eyes and signal so that uh, eyes and signal to our brain so brain controlling all the area think with our to auditory area sensory area visual area so there are different areas eyes and signal to our brain that is a eyes is called as data and brain is is called as processor so that is so that uh, processes the data and convert into the information so information is so brain as a uh, area different area think with our will do power do reason no recognition no personality trait to memory power so they are all area occurs in cerebrum of the brain so they this data the process of data is finally convert it into information gathering so information is gathering in the brain so conduction of impulses or messages through spinal cord into the brain so they are information brain have information gathering so that is so these remote sensing processes so are um, discussed in the many uh, process so that is uh, uh, and uh, they are different under these studies so under this uh, remote uh, sensing process the number one is uh, a source of energy source of energy interaction of energy with the atmosphere so what is so first we understand so first and very important requirement for remote sensing is an energy source which provides electromagnetic energy to the uh, heart so electro uh, magnetic energy from a environment to the uh, heart so that it may be either from natural natural means solar radiations it may it may be from solar radiations or from the nature or artificial artificial means what is radar artificial is a radar so it is a, a radar source so it is a, it may be either from natural or artificial so that is for uh, remote sensing so very very important in the examination this it is a compulsory question asking in the paper so that is sensing so that is a remote sensing so it uh, for example the remote sensing uh, sun radiations are commonly used as a source of energy that is sun radiations is a common use for energy so that is a sunlight is a source main source of energy that is another important is interaction of energy that is interaction of interaction of energy with the atmosphere interaction of energy with the atmosphere so when energy travels from so where 
the energy is coming it travels from a source to the earth surface from sunlight to the earth surface it is interaction of in the interact inter means between so that is so it uh, comes in contact with the earth atmosphere sun radiations is come in contact with atmosphere of earth so where it interact with the atmospheric constituents so for example the energy is reflected from earth surface is received by the remote sensors so through the remote sensor the earth surface is received from the uh, sunlight radiations so in this process the energy is once again they interact with the atmosphere so that is sunlight so is interact with the earth atmosphere so that is so interactions of energy with earth surface features uh, so mainly the atmosphere is interact with the earth earth surface features so that is on uh, temperature so it interaction and its outcomes interactions and it uh, outcomes is completely depends on a characteristics of features and the energy so that is the main so recording the energy sensor how the how uh, the sensor is recorded how sensor is recorded so after interacting uh, with the earth surface after interacting with the earth surface the uh, features the reflected and emitted energy is traveled through the sensor so the and this sensor is recorded reflected and finally a emitted energy and finally emitted energy so we in the all living organism we require energy is important for all functions we survive we are all living so we want uh, energy for surviving through the food carbohydrate rich food protein rich food uh, uh, lipid rich food we so we should maintain the balanced diet so that is carbon digestion occurs in alimentary canal uh, that is called as so end product carbon digestion is called as glucose fructose and galactose end product of protein digestion is called as amino acids so finally they are absorbed into the uh, blood stream blood transport nutrients for energy for functioning so that is energy is very very important so they are so the interconnecting of energy with the surface features so after interacting with the uh, earth surface uh, uh, features the reflected and emitted is so it is a sensor uh, is important so then finally say yeah, yeah, no transmission so that is reception and processing of the uh, recorded signals finally what is the signals so that is respond to sensor Tem so temperature is response to uh, sensor so they are they are processing of uh, recording the signals so the energy recorded by the sensor is transmitted in the form of signals to the, uh, the stations to receive and the process of signals so this is important for so processing and repairs so th these are the some uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages of this uh, sensors uh, uh, models so that is uh, after understanding so after understanding the concept of remote sensing after understanding and uh, concept of remote sensing so we should uh, you know, concentrate on advantages and limitations what are the advantages so it provides here for example we observe our surface uh, features from uh, prospective uh, so whereas remote sensing provides a bird side remote sensing is provides a bird side provides us that is a uh, uh, bird's eyes uh, uh, bird's eye view so of the earth surface bird birds are viewing a earth surface so this is a whole prospective gives a very but it is a uh, few main features so what are the remote sensing uh, advantages so what are the advantages 
from the remote sensing is main it provides a synaptic view so with the help of sensing that is uh, uh, this uh, remote sensing so we provides so that is a uh, yeah so provides synaptic view so that is a uh, huh? so it can acquire data of unaccessible area so data is collected from very sensitive area with the help of sensor we collect the data of unnecessary areas so it also a yeah, yeah, cost effective means of data collection so say that is sensor is a uh, the remote sensing it is a cost of data so this is uh, it can also provide data in the view uh, behind the visible you know, range of human height it is also a very very important it is a wavelength is increased with the so because it uh, eye visioning is only limitation but it is uh, with the help of uh, remote sensing we uh, see the long also so it can uh, that is uh, it provides a historical data sets so collection of data in the remote sensing useful to understand the uh, characteristics of the object in a given time, it is a cost. It is a cost. So that is a uh, remote sensing is a system. So remote sensing is a system. So it becomes a unrelated uh, with time, with the time resulting in uh, errors in the data being collected. So this is uh, very, very important. So, so this uh, um, understand, so that is, and, and also a study a different models of remote sensing. That is, uh, uh, for example, electromagnetic order you see discussing. So electromagnetic spectrum, it uh, uh, a wide range of uh, uh, wavelength. Electromagnetic spectrum, wide range of uh, wavelength. So the, the entire uh, range of radiant energies is called as electromagnetic spectrum EMS so that is uh, so EMR so that is radiation ranges from very high energy to discussing this one so the, for example ultraviolet so it is a high wavelength so that is and visible is less so that visible is always blue in color so and the radiation loss so that is and uh, uh, EMR atmospheric temperature so we are all uh, uh, so reflected uh, electromagnetic spectrum. And other one important we should understand refraction, wave light. So enters from one medium to another. So radiation is uh, uh, move from. So that is uh, when light enters. So from the light, sunlight. When light enters from one medium to another medium of varying density, density then refraction is emitted so reflection it is a, a another one is reflection so it is a fundamental electro uh, it is a fundamental uh, characteristics uh, uh, important in remote sensing so that is reflection is one of the important characteristic features of the uh, remote sensing so in this process radiations that is the uh, uh, so that is a, it uh, bounces off. It called them as a bounces off. Uh, an object such as top of cloud and other materials in atmosphere. So that is reflected. So for example, from the during. So it is a um, very difficult to discuss on uh, back into the satellite sensor. It back into the uh, satellite uh, center. So. Uh, then another important is uh, uh, spectral, so uh, uh, signature of earth surface features, so that is it to face up many problems. So that is uh, spectral uh, reflecting, uh, reflectance curve. So we should understand, so we should uh, discussing uh, earth surface materials, what are the uh, uh, signature of common earth surface materials for uh, that is uh, vegetation soil and water so vegetation soil and water 
so plant leaf so for example vegetation for example vegetation plant leaf appears green plant leaf appear greens to our eyes to our eyes so plant is appears like green it reflects green light so in higher uh, comparison to other light of other wavelength so it is a visible ray so green color in plant is a visible ray so and also a low reflectance of vegetation is blue and red regions blue and red regions is a uh, less reflection so it is due to a the absorption by a chlorophyll or photosynthesis so that makes it easier so when photosynthesis process is occurs in leaves uh, when sunlight is beam on the leaves the leaves a uh, absorption of light from the sunlight immediately the about 250 chlorophyll pigments are developed so this is uh, visible it for photosynthesis that is easier to distinguish it from a non living features so behind the visible range vegetation has a much higher really reflections in the near infrared so that region due to a cellular uh, structure of the leaves the chlorop mesophyll cells cellular structures in the leaves it able to attract more of the chlorophyll pigments than red and blue so that is so wavelength is more to for this process so then uh, the visible region that is a flocked pigmentation so visible so what is the uh, spectral region so spectral region is called as a visible region so what is the major uh, controlling factors is uh, a plant pigmentation deposition of pigment like chlorophyll pigments so that is a major controlling factor and what is the uh, spectral characteristics so this due to the presence of due to the presence of chlorophyll a healthy vegetation shows overall eye absorption that is uh, low uh, low reflectance and minimum transmate so that is uh, uh, very very important so chlorophyll chlorophyll is a strongly absorbed around blue light and red light so that is uh, blue light is around uh, uh, a 450 nanometer and uh, uh, red light is around uh, uh, a 680 around a 680 90 nanometer and reflects strongly in um, green light reflection so the green is more attraction from the sun uh, attractions so that is a green light so in green appearance of healthy vegetation so that is so it results in finally a, a, a spectral signature of vegetation so when sunlight spectral uh, light sunlight beam on the leaves it is a more wavelength and uh, in the uh, nature so that is another important is uh, so visible reason number one so that is a uh, visible reason means spectral reasons visible reason and a major controlling uh, factors so another important is uh, uh, a near infra uh, infrared near infrared uh, that is called n i r near infrared region so that is a uh, it is a internal leaf structure so that is uh, internal leaf structure number one is plant pigmentation so after pigmentation they becomes green in color so after internal leaf spectrum so that is develops due to a um, cell structure due to the cell structure high refl reflectance and uh, transmittance and a very low absorption in is observed so and another important is uh, short so there are uh, we should studies that is number one Another important of uh, remote sensing in the uh, earth surface is soil. So soil is a, uh, a mixture of uh, minerals and matters, organic and inorganic matters. So soil is a mixture of uh, different minerals, 
so potassium calcium magnesium nitrogen so they are different minerals so that is uh, minerals and matters occurs in the soil so uh, soil appear in shades that is of uh, brown or black in color so soil is usually a brown or uh, it appears like a brown or black soil so it appearance uh, is the appearance is due to the constituents of the soil so soils is appear brown due to the why the soil is appears like uh, brown it is due to the higher reflection of green and red energy so it is a high higher reflections of green and red energy in comparison to the blue color blue soil blue reflections. so reflection of green is more than blue so this uh, reflectance so gradually increases with wavelength in the visible or near infrared uh, spectrum or entire spectrum reaches with maximum soil reflectance in nir wavelength so that is more so this is a uh, soil is important to a uh, rich in it is a uh, more reflected it is a more reflected and exposed and another important these are the physical factors for uh, sense to the plants are sense to these factors that is remote sensing it is called a remote so the plants are sense to these factors so with the help of soil sensation with the help of for temperature sunlight so spectrum so that is wavelength due to what is the observation wavelength of this uh, Uh, change uh, climatic changes so they are uh, important and another one physical factors of this is water so water is uh, important so that is uh, in the whole biological uh, reactions so biological reactions so that is uh, for example uh, plant sap having a 19% so in animals is also a yeah, the uh our body fluids have all the body fluids of living organisms have get 99% water and only 1% is a component that is so radiation incident incident so that is uh, incident is upon water is largely either as absorbed or transmitted for water so on this reflection could be either from surface of water or from a bottom of the uh, water or also water it is a column so that is so uh, clear water <coughs> so clear water bodies appear a dark clear water bodies are appear dark whereas the shallow and uh, turbid water appear in a shades of uh, different for example different colors i in the visible so when c2 water clear water it is a blocking uh, black like that is transparent and black like so in the visible regions the incident radiation is largely transmitted in a clear water so visual visible light is transmitted transmitted in a clear water bodies so for example in the uh, uh near infrared region water absorbs strongly so in the region of uh, near infrared regions water absorption is strongly so this wavelength so this wavelength is used for a um, uh, land and water boundaries in the agricultural farmers so this uh, water is absorption so that is near infrared wavelength so the water is uh, absorbed from so that so for example in uh, depth of water so that and or and the water constituents are the major factors so water is also rich in nutrients so constituents of this uh, uh, water is major factors for contributing the uh, uh, spect uh, signature of water that is a, a spectral signature of water so it is the bottom of materials that determine the uh, water body uh, spectral property in shallow areas 
that is uh, for example water constituents like suspended uh, uh, sediments so they are bottom of the water they are suspended of sedimentary materials so sedimentary chlorophyll or phytoplankton so that is plants in the water that is phytoplankton and zooplankton plant materials is called as phytoplankton and animal materials are called as zooplankton so phytoplankton zooplankton so dissolved organic matter also influencing a, a signature of the uh, water so higher reflectivity so they are uh, water so then water and uh, and another important uh, to discussing a uh, types of uh, remote sensing <coughs> before you studying what is the functions of remote sensing it affect on earth surface or uh, it also affects on a wavelength to the water physical factors like soil water so that is a uh, yeah. so the different and another important topic to discussing is types of remote sensing <clears throat> so what are the types of remote sensing so that is the it is the basis of <clears throat> remote sensing <coughs> remote sensing can be uh, uh, studied under different uh, uh, types so is uh, based on the different parameters based on the different parameters <clears throat> remote sensing can be uh, classified into or categorized into various types so that is so uh, it is called as a, a discussing on different so it is a, a typology types is also a typology of uh, remote sensing on the basis of their classification so basis on classification that is platform based on platform so based on platform so they are classified into ground based remote sensing so based on platform so uh, remote sensing is classified into ground uh, ground uh, based remote sensing so what is this ground based uh, remote sensing so it is a uh, platform or the ground surface including the uh, mobile van mounted sensors so it is a mobile uh, van uh, mounting uh, mounted sensor mobile van so that is so and another uh, uh, types of this platform uh, classification airborne remote sensing so that is airborne remote sensing so platforms are uh, within the atmosphere this platform is within the atmosphere so for example it is a kite so that is platforms are within the atmosphere kite it is a remote se se sensing uh, that is a kite a balloon that is a pigeon so aircraft so these are all uh, yeah, uh, uh, that is based on platform that is so that is uh, another one is a space for uh, remote sensing so this space means it is a you know, platform or in the space for example satellite so platform of space uh, remote sensing it is a satellite satellite is a remote sensing so it sometimes uh, uh, it is a international space station and the space uh, uh, satellite are also used as a platform so this based on platform we should understand a ground based remote sensing airborne remote sensing and space borne remote sensing these are it is the uh, types of uh, uh, platform based classification so and another important uh, uh, based on the remote sensing the types of remote sensing is mainly based on another is based on energy source so passive remote sensing that is what is the types of uh, uh, energy source based is passive remote sensing and active remote sensing passive remote sensing and active remote sensing so what is uh, uh, passive remote say active re passive remote sensing so passive remote sensing so is uh, uh, provides it provides uh, sun energy reflected emitted from the earth surface which is 
record it. So, and other than means the active uh, remote sensing provides their own energy source for illuminating and radiation is reflected, emitted from the uh, target is detected by the sensor. So, another uh, important type of remote sensing so is uh, imaging media. Another important uh, uh, remote sensing is uh, a imaging media. Imaging media that is photographic imaging. Photographic, uh, it is a imaging by photo, photo. So that is another one is a digital uh, imaging. So imaging media is uh, differentiated into photographic imaging and digital imaging. What is photographic imaging? So it is the uses a chemical reactions on the surface of light sensitive photographic film. So that is photographer, that is film is printed to detect and recorded energy. And another one is a, a reflected emitted energy is imaged by electrically a, or electrical by electric uh, uh, transcendence. So for example, charge couple uh, devices. So another last uh, uh, remote sensing is region of the EMS. So that is EMS. So it is uh, usual. So that is optical remote sensing. It is a uh, it is performed within the optical region. So that is a uh, vision for optical regions. So and another important uh, uh, photographic remote sensing, thermal report uh, remote sensing. So microwave remote sensing. So these are the uh, types of remote uh, sensing. So and also uh, different types of uh, remote sensors. So energy source like uh, passive sensors and active sensors. That is a uh, types of output for imaging sensors. So these are all uh, we should understand a passive and active remote sensing to discuss in uh, topic. So Another important, so that is GIS. Lastly, so we discussing GIS. So that is, uh, uh, what is GIS? That is a Geographic Information System. GIS is an important topic. It is a last topic to discussing today. So GIS is a Geographic uh, Information System. It is a research tool for working with a geographic information, for collecting the information on the earth or geographic from the a, a tool that is called as GIS. It is an important uh, climatic change assessment tool, very, very important. It can be considered as a science and technology. GI is finally considered as a science and technology. It is a, it is basically a computer based system. GIS is completely a based on computer based, based system. So which is a capable of data capture and preparation. It is a mainly functions of this GIS is data capture and preparation, data management, data manipulation and uh, analysis. A present and there is finally a presentation of data. So these operators, so the, it is a capabilities of a computer system like software, data, infrastructure and GIS users. So applications of GIS is increased uh, since 1970. So from uh, it is taught as, uh, as in the year 1970, 1970 and uh, now it till presently working it is a wide uh, applications in diverse fields it is nowadays the mobile so it is uh, information geographic information uh, system it gis is completely based on the data model for example a vector and uh, uh, register data model so this uh, would be components of gis so that is so what are the components of gis so that is uh, uh, important. So it is uh, different fields. So that is, uh, uh, it is a system of hardware, GIS, center of geographic information and analysis, a 
ये जी आई एस इज ए सिस्टम ऑफ हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर एंड प्रोसीजर टू फेसिलिटेट द मैनेजमेंट एंड मैनिपुलेशन एंड एनालिजिंग एंड मॉडलिंग सो दे रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड डिस्प्ले ऑफ ये ये जियो रेफर्ड डेटा टू सॉल्व द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम्स रिगार्डिंग प्लानिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज सो इट इज Uh, considered a geographic uh, uh, represented component of this GIS. So, what are the components of GIS? Is hardware. So, hardware component is consists of a computer, data storage, and a display. So, all of you you understand this uh, uh, way. So, the uh, the software includes the tools for management, analysis, display, and dissemination of special data. So that is data is a fundamental requirements for any GIS system. So data is fundamental requirements for any GIS system. So it can be a special uh, geographical uh, locations. So uh, uh, efficient working of this GIS system. So we need have uh, utilize the technology. So there are different methods involving how data is acquired, stored. process and analyzing so this uh, gis is very very important to that is a uh, data models so in gis that is entity futures so that is a uh, vector data models we understand the model uses points like uh, point is a, a zero dimensional features which is uh, represented by a single coordinate that is for example a location of well a building simple location and Uh, so forth. so this uh, line of polygon you are all uh, it is a computer based the gis the information storing and collection collection and storing that is a different uh, uh, models so that is vector and different models is relatively advantages so that is a vector data analysis so that is a, a it is a digitization from image or other Uh, maps so that is a, a field uh, coordinate measurement so that is data query that is a query based on attribute so that is a locations so they are uh, different technology we should uh, understand and uh, what is the uh, raster based analysis that is a multi layer operation so that is a, a multi raster mathematical overlay so what are the applications of gis finally so what are the finally we should understand the applications of gis that is uh, gis devices device it is a diverse applications in the uh, field of climate change so gis is a diverse application in the field of climate change so uh, blob a uh, four of course that is a uh, mean so this is so that is a uh, land use or land cover application for example land cover uh, a physical uh, characteristics of landscape so this land use a way land is used for for example the environmental scientist may so environmental scientist may interested this finding activities so today to discussing about this uh, assessment to say the crop simulation so that is the remote sensing uh, functioning and finally gis geographical information system so studies this one so any doubt uh, so discussing on send in the groups so that is so information or ppt is sent to the groups notes that is it okay madam yeah yes sir yes sir yes madam yes madam so we'll tomorrow wait. is same uh, 6 o'clock uh, joining that yes sir yes. thank you okay. sir okay okay thank you thank you